In setting up a new plane and being a relative newcomer, I wanted to use the voice prompts on my Tyrannus to better remember what all the switches were doing. Aileron rates off. Aileron rates on. There were some voice prompts which weren't available. I've put a receiver in here that has a built-in gyro, so it has a stabilize and self-level mode. Stabilize on. Self-level. Stabilize on. Stabilize off. These voice prompts I made myself. It's quite a simple process. If you follow this video, you will be able to do the same. Before recording the files or converting them from a text, there are some things we need to know. I rushed into this and uh, made a few files, put them on the card for the Tyrannus, and they didn't work. In desperation, I did, of course, what I should have done in the first place, which is to RTFM. Here we can see in the OpenTX manual the audio file format that's required and some important things. It only accepts six characters plus the dot wave extension. The sample rate 32 kilohertz, you can use 16 or 8. Sample rate 16 or 8. One track, i.e. mono. The compression codec should be PCM, pulse code modulation, mu law or a law. This doesn't really have much relevance these days. It was used back in telephony as an algorithm before doing encoding, but not relevant to us here. Suffice it to say, for our intents and purposes, a dot .wave is a PCM file. Where we put the files on the card is fairly straightforward, under the sounds root directory, and in my case they're under sounds en, as I've installed the amber uh, voice pack already. That's pretty much all we need to know. If you don't want to record your own voice, there are some text-to-speech options. This one here, as it says, is a free text-to-speech converter. Just enter your text, for example, self-level. It will generate a, an MP3 file. We choose a female voice, normal speed. We can name the file directly on the web page, which is a great advantage. We can call this self-lv, for example. Click on Start. We can play the file here. Self level. And even better news, we can download it directly as a WAV file. All we have to do is to put that file now onto our SD card, either using the OpenTX companion, or my choice is to actually pull the SD card and uh, put it directly into my computer. An alternative to this site is this one here, and of course there'll be links down in the description. This is a little bit more difficult to use, but I prefer the voice that it uh, creates. Again, if we put in self-level, I prefer the voice of Jenna, medium speed, and click on create audio file. This site takes a little longer to produce the file. When the file has finished processing, we can click on download audio file. Self -level. Self -level. And if we're happy with that, we can go ahead and right click and save target. In this case, it just gives it a fairly random number as the file. And you can see it's only available as an MP3. So we have more work to do with this program. What we can do is to rename it. And as we saw, it needs to be a maximum of six characters. At this time, it is still obviously a MP3 file. We open it in Audacity. We can see the file there. What we need to do is to change this value here, as we saw in the OpenTX manual, to 32,000 hertz. It's already a mono file. All we have to do is to file and export it as a wave. Now we have a file that we can put on the SD card and play.